For the people of Christchurch, it was always pleasant to spend the weekend down by the sea. Even when the nor'wester was blowing, there was always shelter among the sand dunes along the Canterbury coastline. You could lie in the sun and forget your worries. But now it's the home guard and training to fight among the sand dunes, to defend the coast of Canterbury where the nor'wester blows. Snow, not in New Zealand, but for the moment a part of New Zealand. At the 9th Army Ski School, these New Zealanders trained as mountain troops during the northern winter. By the chances of war, they went from the snows of Syria's mountains to the sand and rock of Libya's desert. Scenes like this one would be a pleasant memory when the New Zealand division was rushed back to Egypt. It was fun in the snow, but they weren't there long enough to become really professional. It was almost like home, mountain air, snow, cool altitudes, after two years of hard campaigning in the desert heat. Then, hastily, secretly, they returned to the western desert. The enemy soon knew the Kiwis had arrived. Meet the General Stuart tank, now operating in New Zealand. It's a light tank for the use of our light armoured units, the LAFVs. Meet the crews, supplied by the 1st Army Tank Brigade to test the Territorial Army's new armoured weapon. They practice a tactical manoeuvre. One tank waits hull down behind cover. While it watches, the others advance. Observe, they're fast, easily handled. Just to show that the crews can handle them, we put the cameraman down behind a tussock. They tried them through mud and slush. The honeys took it on the run. They got the name of honey in the Middle East, where they have helped the NZ division in action against Rommel. They tried them over obstacles. It looked as if the honeys would take a bit of stopping. Put our men on skis, put them on tanks, you just can't stop the Kiwis.